Good morning everyone, my name is Christian from Two Headed Wolf Gaming and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. In today's episode we are going to continue the work we do on our church and more specifically on our graveyard. That will be the main focus of this episode and we are also going to turn in a few more quests that we have available. So I am going to come here to the merchant go about our deal and give him carrots, cabbage, and beets. But to be honest, these vegetables are terrible. I could only sell them to the poor townsfolk. They'll eat anything, especially after two bad harvests in a row. Uh, bad harvest? I don't see any sign of bad harvest. Seems like everything is going great. This place is truly sacred, but in the town and its suburbs there's a water shortage. The Vimor River has gone down. Only the gyol which runs past your graveyard still brings some water to Vimor. Okay, so <laughs> it's good we didn't throw any bodies in the river. Even the town's bay has receded, so the ship of the dead can't leave. About future, is it possible to sell future harvests? You seem like a reasonable, a reasonable guy I could trust. Or I have a dream, and I happy and ha I and I happy to know, and I'm happy to know that you're on my side. It's time you and I achieve the justice we deserve. I mean, what we really, really deserve. And to that end, I must become the keeper of the king's kitchen and the first tester, of course. This will grant me incredible power. Plus, I will. I'll get to try all the delicious food which only the king can afford. And what's all this have to do with me? Money will make a killing. And I mean. To achieve my goal, we'll need to win the battle on two fronts. First, we need the corner of high-end food market in the town. Second, we need to bribe the members of the royal council. We can't corner the market with these vegetables. But I see potential with the... With the the help of some good fertilizer and the proper selection of crops, I believe you might grow something special. But first you need to get the trade license through the royal service box near your church. Get one and I'll be glad to have you as my partner. Okay, let's see. More grape seeds that we can get from him. We should probably, yeah, take, buy a few more. So oh, that's all our money. That is a bit unfortunate. What does this... Let's see. Does this door bring me... No, the hatch is closed for now. I wonder if... I wonder if this door brings me up the hill to the grape... Uh, to the grape farm or... Let's see. Okay, well, going forward... We need a few resources on us. I would like us to have a few more simple parts and make 12. We will be needing iron soon. So off when we're done with this episode, I will be working on gathering resources. Now normally I would have just enough time, like I, I looked up my schedule, I would just have enough time to planks um, no I'm not sure exactly what we needed else I would have just enough time to record another episode I think for this in this situation right now I would rather us do collect some resources to have an even better episode further ahead I think I had everything let's see do I I think I have a screenshot of what we need Somewhere here? No, apparently I didn't take. I will start making a list with everything, all the resources that we need to construct different passages and... We also need to build a bridge between the witch and us. We're going to go through here, hopefully we have just the necessary resources to build the bridge or the passageway, but we'll see. 
Can we cut these trees down? I guess we can. There's more vines here for extra green experience. Which we should probably use before trying to work on something else. Let's get some of this honey. It's going to provide us with some extra energy. At the same time, gathering a few more bees is going to be good for us. Yeah, we're losing quite a bit of life there. Let's see, what does this? This must be the place Gunter was talking about. I should start looking for the zombie. Okay, well, let's dig. Takes us a lot of energy to do that. Okay, you've unlocked a new technology and got start building a sawmill. Ooh. You probably can take that and bring it... <laughs> Ooh, there are more zombies here? Because we dug an, up another one. Okay. Well, we'll take him and bring him down in the church cellar. Do I want more honey? I think so. Let's see. It's through here. This is the coal area. And here we have the marbles. Was it further north? I think it was further north. Let's see, check the map. Map, we are around here. Oh, and this is the passageway. So we're going to go south now. Can we upgrade the roads as well? Try to make them something more stone-like. I really need to look for another city builder. Let's see. Oh, we need two wooden planks as well. So, there you have it. That's what you get for not writing things down. Or checking the wiki. Slate. And this area is pretty dark, I hope you can see the map or at least the screen pretty clearly. Yeah, we can't go through, around through here. I guess we have to play with those zombies collecting us resources, <laughs> but I, I feel a bit scared about what could, could happen. Okay, big tree. So that's what's happening there. We're going to add some co some sort of zombie. Do, do we have more space? Let's see. If I dig more, will there be more? Create a big sawmill. Yeah, we're getting more of these. And we we're also unlocking the necessary resources or the necessary research for the other buildings we have. No, no, let's we'll bring him to the morgue first of all. I'm not sure that's how we we work with this, but at this point, I, I, it's really I've never tried it. Work efficiency 10%. Okay, so well, let's continue extracting these. We're gonna extract everything we can before setting it on fire. Hmm. 
Okay. Now I'm gonna take the body. I'm gonna throw it for a second. Take this body, put it here. Let's see, autopsy. So he has bone, brain, fat. So he has a full body here. Now, if I take some blood out of him, get the red point off him. Will that help me in any way? Let's see. I don't know. We're trying. Okay, so that's all the energy we had for today. I'm gonna see if that improves. We probably have to put some back. I would imagine we, we're creating a full... We need a full body there. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like such a mad scientist. Do we want to go and meet Snake? Not today. Let's let's sleep. And I said that we are going to work on the graveyard soon. <laughs> Given that we've gained a zombie, I feel like the graveyard should take second place. Though it's not a zombie, it's a, it is a animated body. Can I call it a Frankenstein? I wonder what the Inquisition will have to say about this. My guess, nothing good. Oh, there was... What was it? Chaos Solution. Accelerating Powder. Do you think we can do something here? With all these? Keeper's key, fake coins. Oh, we can throw the fake coins at him. Shall we go meet Snake very quickly? Nah, not now. Yeah, I don't know. Let's go here. Let's continue the work, see if we get more efficiency out of him. That is a no. But I'm guessing we're going to have to insert blood to make him work. Uh, Zombie gardening. Zombie vineyard, zombie brewery. There's a zombie something for everything here. Alchemy storage. Random text generator. Zombie gardening. We've been through this. Let's see. No zombie smithy. Zombie mining. That's this is for the mine in the north. I think this could be pretty good. Zombie wood cutting, there's still a lot of wood to be cut in the area, so I don't think it really matters. We don't need a constant supply of wood, we have plenty of. But quarrying, I think I like the idea of quarrying. Well, that's about it here. Is there anything I can build with in this section? No. So then... What shall we do now? I think we're going to set fire to that body in the south. And... Yeah, go back to what we were doing, what we set out to do. During this episode, we'll keep working. We'll keep working on the graveyard, try to improve it. We need to bring it to a 30 quality, which shouldn't take us too long. We 
again ash salt and a burial certificate okay let's see there is a stone cross there there's a wooden cross near it there's a stone another stone so this will require some stone repairing kits like free monuments yeah we'll go with that first So let us see, four stone, if we want to make stone repair kits we need the clay, we need simple iron parts and we need a piece of stone. I know this takes away from us building that passageway to extracting resources, I might just do it off the episode because I will want to collect resources and iron seems like something that we will need. So first of all let's make four don't repair kits. I think this should be enough. Um, after we... Yeah, let's fill this here. We'll take it to the church uh, when we're not recording. I'll keep some burial certificates there as well. Then, our next goal is to make a few stone grave fences plus two plus two let's see how much does the wooden ones give us we're still at plus two less it we know that it takes less energy to make this i think we're okay with making some of these as well and we get some blue points at the same time that is wonderful let's rest If we take a, with us a few stones and we add up uh, peat, I think we needed peat and some orange flowers was it? Okay, let's make two of these and adding some orange flowers, I think that we could also, let's see where is it? Yeah, six pieces of stone. We can make ourselves the, that flower bed that we can put probably between the graves. So let's think about that. Let's throw in this other chest. Everything that is wood and we don't need right now. Yep, yeah, just like so. I am going to go here. Take some peat. Probably we should go and plant some grapes as well. Let's see. Peat and after that I would also like some of these flowers, but we only have one red flower, so we need more red flowers. Let's collect some energy. There we have it. In the form of berries, of course. For some reason, these songs never get old. Let's see here. This place is not really great. Like these bodies, they could use some treatment. But for the moment, let's just fix it. Our main objective is to make sure that these things are fixed, that we don't get any penalties from them. We need a wooden one for that. And we're back, we're at 21 already. So that is good. We're going to work on these. Get another four points there. What else? Shall we add here two and two? Let's see. What about this place? This place could bring us the most points. 27 already. What about you? You have a low score, so we don't really have to worry about that. I'm just gonna put another fence here. That's 29. 
Well, this is going a whole lot better than I thought it would be. There we have it. 31. 33. Even. So surprisingly, this was a whole lot easier than I thought it would be. Flower bed. For flower bed, yeah, we do need red flowers. So let's do that. Let's go ahead for... And try to beautify the area just a tiny bit. Can we find some red flowers over here? Yeah. Okay. There we have it. Eight red flowers, meaning we can make a few gardens. We just need... Maybe two? Two sounds about right. How much do we need for these? Just one. Nice, we fixed that grave as well. Was this damaged before? Maybe it was. Let's see, a flower bed. How big it is? Oh, we can't put it just everywhere. Well, let's place one here. And one here. And it automatically gave us two more points. We're at 38 graveyard quality. That is good. Let's... Let's see. Can I get... I would like another permission here. Exhum exhumation permission. Because I want to dig this body. Bury it here. Maybe we can even treat it. Let's see. Actually, maybe we should rest first because we don't have enough energy. We might not have enough to um, dig it up and bury it after that. Tomorrow is the church day or Sunday, as we're calling. So we'll have to check what it's going to, what the effect is going to be like. We can talk to the priest, see if we can uh, turn in the quest with the graveyard. I think the next step was building a cathedral, so I'm not sure what the requirements will be. Okay. Maybe some of you play this game in advance and you already know. Where were we at? Here, we go through the church, we go out now. The priest is not here yet, which is okay. Let's exhume this body. We're going here, we're going to check it. take the body put it there here oh yeah let's try to extract the blood this should be pretty easy and now we have a full body what do you think will happen if we try to remove let's try to remove the fat so we have six white dots does removing the fat give it seven if we don't make a mistake yeah, it did give it 7. Huh. But I'm not sure that taking the intestines and everything else, it takes out the red point. But I'm not sure it gives... Though it might. But at the same time, I'm... <laughs> like, I, I am now debating how far I can take this. Gentle Butcher, we don't have this, so... These are less chances that we make surgical errors. I'm not gonna play with that. It's already in a great condition, so let's go and bring it and bury it. And pretty soon add even better monuments to them. Okay, gravestone there. Add this here. Uh, we can remove that. 
Uh, we might want to work on these as well. Let's see. Oh, so we have two of these. Let's let's use them. Let's use them here. Not going to provide us with too much, but it's something. I wouldn't remove these. And that's about it for now. So there you have it, a 44 quality. Let's uh, go for the known NPC, let's take a look at him, maybe we need a 50, no, it's just a 30 quality graveyard, 20 quality church and bring 4 quality fish fillet to the bishop. Fish fillet was made by what? By doing, it's in technologies, cooking. doesn't show all the recipes. I'm wondering if we needed which type of fish we needed. But we're just gonna go up here, do a bit of fishing, try to get the white one, the smaller ones, the easiest ones to get. I think we already have two or something. I'm sorry for the background noise. Managed to catch it, but there we have it. Bomb, good. Uh, how did we do this? Oh, nice. Nice. I think we already met one fish fillet from it, right? Every fish. Nice. This is how we're going to close the episode. We're going to turn all the quests to the priest, hopefully. Even the one with the fishes. And... And that's going to be it. I like how this game keeps you involved. It does have the same, even though it's slightly weirder in thematics, in, in the team that they bring, it, doesn't, it does feel like a Stardew Valley, close to a Stardew Valley game. And there's always something to do. There's never a dull moment. Maybe, uh, only if you want to say that collecting resources is boring but you, it does take that work but yeah doing that work is only necessary for you to progress further into the game so it feels like you're it's always a reward after that there's always the hard work is being repaid by getting things to work better, right? Having a larger yard, having a better machine that produces things a lot quicker. And now we've reached to almost automating the process by having zombies work for us. Which ones again is one of those things I never thought I would be <laughs> saying it in a in a game that looks in a sense pretty normal, right? We're not playing the necromancer here. We're not in a game where we know we are an evil overlord and we are trying to use zombies and the enemy to to take over the world. Okay, 
Let's see if we can make those fish fillets tonight. We need how many? Four white fish fillet? Four quality fish fillet. Hmm. That might be a bit tough to do. I think the fish fillet, the quality fish fillet, is something that we might not be able to do. Let's see. White fish fillet? Yeah. We're going to make four. I don't know what's going to happen. Not enough energy, okay, let's sleep. And we're gonna make one more. Let's uh, check out if, if there's any of the fish fillet that has a better quality. No, they're simple. There's nothing special about them. Here, yeah, apparently if you do catch, catch higher quality fish, you can do better things. However, that is not us. Keep some berry juice. Sandwiches and all kinds of other things. For the moment, I guess I'll just throw this there. I'm gonna move one more. And see if he accepts it. Probably not. We could also buy, I think, fish fillet from the fisherman. Oh, we could sell the fish or maybe the fish fillet as well to the fisherman to get a better, better rod. Let's see. The church is looking good. The church is shining bright, your holiness. It's nothing compared to the town cathedral, but for a church it isn't half bad. Just a couple of steps left and then we can upgrade this church. I hope the graveyard is meeting the high standards of your holiness. Yes, I'm no longer even disgusted to be here. Now just maintain it at this level to upgrade the church. So now we just need... Oh, we need red fish fillet. Ooh. And we do produce those those uh, bronze fish fillet. So if we can quickly fish, what's the time is up? But I'm going to make this episode quicker. Let's work hard and quickly. Maybe we can get two more of those bigger fishes. Let's see. There. Let's try to catch two of those. See if we can quickly fillet them at the house I'm gonna concentrate a bit and if that happens ah uh, same quality of fish nope with this with this rod we only have a 20% that we are going to catch that fish so we could have used some bait we could have collected some moths or something Same quality fish. So we could probably... Let's try to throw the rod further. Not sure exactly what's happening if we can catch anything here. Nope, same kind. But maybe it doesn't even need to be in the category. Maybe in the first category there's a 20% chance that you'll receive one of those red fishes. And in the other category there might be a bigger chance that you catch... Like, right? Like, see, like in this entire area there's 80, 20. I don't think it really matters which ones 
and how far, far you throw them in this uh, first category. Maybe it's just one, two, and three different distances. We have such bad luck now. Does it say on the drawing? Yeah, I don't think we can make it through this episode. What I'll do, I'll put a quick cut in here. And since fishing doesn't seem to consume to move the time of the day. What I am going to do is I'll keep collecting fish until we get the ones that we need. And be back with you. So be right back. Welcome back guys. We just caught two more fishes. So I'm going to take... Oh, we only needed one. But anyway, we're moving towards the church now. To give our friendly little bishop there some much needed fish. Those flowers do look good. I wonder how this whole area will look when it's fully upgraded. Because I'm guessing we're going to repair the fence at some point as well. You're my savior. I hope they didn't sound blasphemous, huh? By the way, I forgot to mention that you'll need to get a building permit to perform any construction upon the royal lands. And as far as the permit is concerned, I'm afraid you're on your own. I try to avoid the soulless, greedy bureaucracy at any cost. Okay, so we need a building permit now. Let's see. Building permission. 20 silver! Well... We're not even close to that. I am going to have to make some food, probably go ahead and sell it. We're... Uh, I thought that maybe something will happen as soon as we finish this quest. But it doesn't really look like it. So, we need a building permit now. I am going to take the time to collect all the resources necessary. I'm going to make a list of all the projects that need to be built. I also want for future plans, for future reference, I want to reorganize the yard. Like, look how much space we have. There is no point in keeping all of these like so. I am going to work at it and we're going to reorganize everything else. So I'm going to collect the resources necessary to deconstruct these and reconstruct them. And we're going to do it together. I feel like it's it might be pretty fun to see. I know I enjoy seeing other people do a reorganizing of their tools or whatever they depending on the type of game that they have like putting it all rethinking it and putting it all back together again so that's be going to be it for this episode i hope you are enjoying this series and i look forward to seeing you all in the next episode i wish you all a wonderful day